Mm. We're going to use Windows Calculator to work out this test case. It's the voltage across a capacitor after 0.69 seconds. It's a 1 mega ohm resistor and a 1 microfarad capacitor. I'm using Windows Calculator, which I wouldn't recommend because you're not allowed to use it during the exam. Uh, I've enlarged the window, put it into scientific view. When you enlarge the window, you get some more buttons here. And I've got the memory display showing. You need to make the window wider to see that. Uh, the Windows Calculator memory is a bit confusing. And without that showing, you might recall or save the wrong thing. This is take four. Uh, take three, I had the microphone turned off. Take two, I accidentally said the F word. <laughs> I love recording YouTube videos. Right, 0 0.69 times, sorry, 0 0.69 divided by a microfarad times a megohm. Now a microfarad times a megohm is equal to one. However, I'm going to plough through it because you might not have such nice numbers to work with. So it's 0 0.69 divided by, open a bracket. You can see what you're doing up here which is quite helpful and most newer calculators have the same feature. Now one mega ohm is 1 times 10 to the 6. And I've just typed 1 times 6. To make it 1 times 10 to the 6, hit the 10 to the x button. And that's showing correctly up here. So it's 0 0.69 divided by, open the bracket, 1 times 10 to the raised to the power 6 times a microfarad, so that's times one times, I've done six again, but I want 10 to the minus six, so I have to negate the six, use the plus minus button, the negate button, and don't accidentally subtract, that's a very common mistake, and then we want 10 to the power of that, this is showing up all right, so we've got one times 10 to the power minus six, Close the final bracket, hit equals, and lo and behold, 0 0.69 divided by 1 equals 0 0.69. We need e to the power minus that. So 0 0.69, negate it using the plus minus button. Don't subtract by mistake. Use the exponential button, e to the x. Don't confuse it with the exp button. So e to the x, and we get 0.5-ish. That is correct. Let's save that into the memory. Clear that, and I now need 1 minus that in order to do the formula correctly. Because it's 1 minus e to the power, blah de blah de blah Okay, so what have we got? 1, subtract, and I really did mean subtract. Recall the memory, and that's still extremely close to 0 0.5. The final step is multiply it by the 100 volt power supply, and we get 49.8 volts. We were expecting 50, and the answer is a good deal less than 1% out. So that's job done. Mm.